What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and if there's one video game character that we know has not had it easy these past few years, two, three, four, five, ten years, it's motherfucking Sonic the Hedgehog. We apparently have a statement from a former Sega of America CEO who says the downward cycle that Sonic the Hedgehog suffered in this dark era was not abnormal in comparison to other big franchises. That, that, this is fucking crazy. I didn't read the article ahead of time. I wanted to give you my genuine raw dog reaction for the first time right here, right now. So let's check out exactly what this former Sega of America CEO is saying. If they have a former CEO, they must have gone through a lot of bodies to get to where they are right now. Um, some people were also asking me what my opinion is on Sonic Mania and on the new Sonic 2017 title, The Big Shit, coming up later on. I will let you guys know all of that by the end of this video, but let's take a look at what this is saying right here. Courtesy of Nintendo Everything, them boys, they've always been on their game, man. Big shout out, hold on, big, big shout outs to Nintendo Everything, man. They were here back when they started, they're here right now. Coming back into the game, and these niggas still got it on lock, man. Big props to those boys. But anyway, let's check out this information. This might be interesting for some of you guys. If you've been here for a while, you might just know your boy was originally a hardcore Sonic the Hedgehog fan. And even though I've strayed away from the series, he still holds a very special, genuine place in my black heart. Sonic the Hedgehog was one of the most iconic video game characters, we all know that, and he had a tough time over the past several years. I think, um, niggas call it the fucking Dark Ages, dog. Like, that, 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 that just, that's just fucking crazy to me, man. Anyways, former Sega of America CEO Tom Kalinsk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna presume your name is that, he weighed in on the situation in this month's issue of Game Informer, explaining it's not entirely unnatural. So let's see what his stance is. My man, my man Tom got a lot of explaining to do. So he says, Kalinsk feels that Sonic's downward cycle is part of the natural up and down for any character. And he has a genuine point there. Which character doesn't go through some kind of a struggle to find themselves uh, a stable footing in the transition of, um, you know, how older games were, you know, 8-bit, 16-bit, now we have 3D. Sonic didn't make the transition to 3D too well. Anyways, um, we have right here, he says, I think it is natural for any character. We've certainly seen it with the Marvel characters over the years. He's got a very genuine point right there. They've seen some of their characters take off and other other ones not do as well and it really just depends on where the consumers are at that current point in time I guess the industry just isn't really made for certain characters or certain attributes to take off the way others are um, let's take a look at more of this he says we've seen it with Marvel we've seen it with Barbie we've seen it with Star Wars GI Joe and Hot Wheels all of these brands had their cycles I think Sonic has a down had a downward cycle for a while and it's time to have an upward cycle again for a while thanks to Jake for the tip so it's somewhat of a smaller quote here, but I really wanted to discuss this with you guys because our perspective on Sonic the Hedgehog right now might be a little bit mixed. Some people might feel that Sonic is now on the up and up with two big titles coming out later on. One for 2017, and I think Sonic Mania is going to be coming out later this year. Don't quote me on it though, because I haven't really been keeping up with it for the main reason being that I just don't find too much appeal with the older, older Sonic games nowadays. I played them like crazy when I was younger, man. I would always have my cousins over. Well, I would go over to their house and we'd be playing the originals all day, every day. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, man, the racing. Can't forget that, man. Those are golden memories for not just me, but for most of you guys who may be within my age range. But it doesn't appeal to me now. Of course, there are some people that it will, but Sonic Mania is not going to be bringing in new players. That's a fact. There's a lot of people who just can't play the retro style games anymore for one reason or another. They're just more tuned to the modern conveniences of games that are made within recent times and therefore they're not going to be attracted to a game like Sonic Mania. Which is why I do think it's intelligent that Sega is actually working on two titles. The 2017 title, Join the Revolution, we still don't have much information on it, but that looks like it's going to be around the basis to bring in new players. And plus, even though they said it's not going to be a Sonic Generation style format, they also got the classic Sonic integrated there too so 2017 I can see being the game that brings in a bunch of new players brings in uh, like a, a but, but but Sonic Mania is here to entertain the old heads like myself but even as an old head like I said it doesn't appeal to me but I want to know what you guys think and I also want to know what you guys think of Tom's opinion on Sonic the Hedgehog now even though he compared it to G.I. Joe and Barbie those definitely didn't transition well when it came to the more modern age but Sonic, I feel, is a bit more important. He's a bit more of a critical player because it's a game that was basically at the top of the food chain in the early days of gaming, and now he's basically the fucking butt end of every single joke. I think 
That's why his failures are a bit more magnified than the likes of G.I. Joe and Barbie, which were big in their perspective eras as well, but Sonic is more of a modern era blunder for a major video game character like that. But that's just my thoughts. I want to see what you guys have to say about this, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Peace, niggas. I'm out.